Hey guys, it's Guard. We're gonna start my 11th draft here, but the Iron Beard looks really grainy. I don't think I've noticed that before. Anyway, I'm gonna play a lot better today. I think the last couple drafts I've done, like the last three or so, I've just been playing really badly. So I'm gonna try and focus and like do something this time. Okay, so we got some interesting choices. There's basically the two that pop out to me are Nixian Phantasm and Patron of Deepwood. I think a Nixian Phantasm is absolutely phenomenal in this draft format. It's just an excellent card. They buffed it uh, with one of the rebalances. It used to be like pretty small. And it didn't near buff nearly as much attack. But now the attack buff debuff is permanent. And it's like really, really hard to kill. Uh, I, I really like this card. And I really like the Anixium, uh Faction Fair too. I think it's quite strong in this format. Uh, Necrium is uh, pretty good. Got a lot of really good heroics. Uh, Patron of Deepwood is also really appealing because I, I only first pick the patrons typically. I might like third or fourth pick them if I've only got one pair. But the thing about patrons is you want to have mostly a monocolored deck. And Patron of Deepwood is likely the best patron uh, other than Tarsus because Tarsus is just so powerful. But Patron's definitely, Patron of Deepwood's definitely the second best because it's, uh, Utera is the, by far the best faction in this uh, draft format. And if you want to be a mono faction, it's going to be Utera. So since I've already drafted Anexium Phantasms, and I haven't actually drafted a Patron of Deepwood deck, let's see if I can draft a mono Utera. The only problem is, uh, by Choosing to draft monocolored is you you lose out on a lot of potential picks and it doesn't always work out. So you just kind of have to balance that by the fact that you uh, you're getting a big payoff in the patron double creature. So uh, I'll just go ahead and take the patron and follow up with Restless Wanderers because it's not a good card, <laughs> but it is a heroic, and you know heroics are what make the world go around. Twin strength, pretty easy. It's also the best card in the pack. Uh, I think I usually want to be going. Uh, I think we want to go Necrium because uh, Necrium's got a, re a few really good heroics, and if I want to pick up those, like only a few Necrium cards, I want to pick up the heroics. Take another Twin Strength. Fell Strider's also just way better than the other options, so if we're only picking Utera cards. I think the best card in this pack is Neurali Symbiote, but the other cards in this pack are, I think Torgmai Vendor is probably the next best. Works really well with the creatures. And Breglum Mantis is okay because it's a 6-5 at rank 1. You need some good early game creatures. And then I'm just going to take the Torgmai Vendor. Try to pick up some early game creatures later. Like I'll probably have a lot of Deep Branch Prowlers because uh, that's a really good Utera card that's all over the place. Fido Bomb's a heroic, so we'll take it. I think probably Virix Embrace would be the pick. But, you know, picking up Utera cards just because they're Utera is not that bad. I'll take the Trample creature. It's also got 6 power. Um, I think Deathseeker's a lot better than any of these other cards. Like, maybe I could see reason for the Demonoid Watcher, because it's, you know, decently sized. But there are a lot of 4-7s in this format. And you can just have your pick of them. Gemlight Basher, clear pick. Uh, I could take a third Twin Strength, but that's kind of greedy. I want to take this Deep Moss Raptor. Zombie Titan's also really good, but I want to try to avoid taking Necrium cards to make my Patron pay off. And Patron's strong enough that I think yeah, I can reliably do that. So it's Oxen Spitter versus Deep Moss Raptor. Oxen Spitter's got 7 power, but levels really poorly. Deep Moss Raptor has 2 power, but levels really well, so I think I'll take the Deep Moss Raptor. If you find a good place to play that thing, it's going to be really good. So it's either Grove Matriarch or Victory Rush. Uh, I need good creatures, so I'm going to take the Grove Matriarch. Victory Rush is a fine card, but I already have 2 Twin Strengths. Etherwolves. Easily Etherwolves. I need a good early game, and it helps with the patrons. And if I get some Spring Dryads, having Patron, Etherwolves, and uh, Spring Dryad would be really good. Plus, uh, uh, so Zithian Rotfiend is one of those few cards that's just really, really strong. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Uh, it's one of the few Necroom cards I think is better than just taking one of these mediocre Utera cards. And then Grove Matriarch, pretty easily. Uh, so Grove Matriarch versus Herd Mother. I've got a Patron, which is an easy way to get two attackers, two Grove Matriarchs, and an Etherwolves. That's a, and a Death Seeker, which is a pretty good way to trigger a raid. I think the upside of Herd Mother is high enough that I want to pick it. And I don't want to pick a fourth Necrium card in case I'm forced into more Necrium later. Otherwise, I would take the Rot Fiend, because I think Rot Fiend's easily the best card in this pack. Uh, but I want to try and stay away from 
Necrium, so I can make my patron really good. Because when a patron works, it's really difficult to deal with. Because uh, you're playing two, like, on level one, it's two level one cards with four toughness, which isn't that hard to deal with, but they usually have to still put two cards into it. At level two, it's two level two cards. At level three, it's two level three cards in one card. So it's it's well worth your time to, you know, try to make it work. Even if it's a little small on the uh, health side. Uh, so I'm going to take Herd Mother. I think I have enough raid, and it's pretty high upside that I'll take it over Grove Matriarch, even though I really, really like Grove Matriarch. It's one of my favorite cards. Uh, Dendrify, I think, just for a removal spell. Uh, Shark Lock Crusher to help out my early game. I'll take Spirit Stone Druid just because I have the Herd Mother. Savage Oath because it's not Necrium. Uh, Evan Skull Knight is a really good Necrium card, and it's a heroic, so I'm going to take it here. Uh, which is also why I didn't take the Rod Fiend earlier, because if I keep taking all these Rod Fiends I see, I'm going to end up with a lot of Necrium cards, which makes my patron a lot worse. Uh, so we got Stygian Lotus versus Progeny as if. <laughs> They're both heroics, so it's between those two. And Stygian Lotus is, you know, Uterra. Though I think Grove Matriarch is probably, since I don't have any Spring Dryads or Harbingers, I'd probably take Grove Matriarch here, because it's just a better creature. But if I get a Harbinger, Stygian Lotus is going to be really good for me. Take the Grove Keeper, take the Savage Oath. Actually, I don't know. Five Necroom cards is a lot. I probably don't wanna don't wanna risk it. Torgoy Mender. Sorrow Maiden. Whew. Glad I didn't take those Necroom cards. <laughs> this is one of the better cards in the uh, the whole format. So this is what, one, two, three, four, five Necroom cards? Okay, that's probably the upper limit of what I want. And there's only five picks left, so I can probably avoid the, the next ones. Gym Hide Ravager. I'm getting a lot of heroics this set. It's actually pretty sick. I could also take Cultivate because I've got two Grove Matriarchs, a Phytobomb, and two Torgon Menders, and a Stygian Lotus. But Cultivate's pretty situational. If you don't have one of those cards in play, it's not that good. Whereas Gym Hide Ravager is always like a decent creature. And then another Stygian Lotus. Even though I think Shark Walker is better, Stygian Lotus is heroic. I want all the heroics I can get. With this many Stygian Lotuses, I mean, Stygian Lotus doesn't live to trigger raid, which is the problem. But I think Dark Mother's still better than Bear Rider. And then a Dryad Spin. I actually have no idea how good this deck is. I haven't drafted Mono Terra in this format yet. Uh, but I do only have five Necroom cards, which means my patron's really likely to trigger. And I do have a lot of Heroics, which means this draft is, like paid for itself uh, just based on the value of cards I've drafted. So I don't even need to win that much, though I'd like to. So I'm going to end the video here, and we're going to go to round one in just a second.